Bent Paladin, alright. Bent Paladin. Good luck. Um, p -p 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 Bent Paladin, so he leaves my rogue open, interesting. That makes a little sense. Um, So silence priest. I'm good yeah. against that. The druid is aggro druid with one crap. With double of the 8 8 too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you cannot keep uh, intellect in this matchup. You need to be having a removal, maybe even a one drop. Getting it, well, whatever, but you cannot keep it. Playing the double living mana, playing for murlocs. So, what did he cut for the hydras then? Like standard version is not playing Hydras. Hmm. Not sure what he cut that for that one. I guess the crabs because he's not playing with the crawler. Uh, it's a really slow hand. If he has a uh, power turns, I I really need cards like Frostbolt, Volcanic Potion. Hmm. Please, bro. Don't do it. Change deck list. Oh, I will remove it. Yeah, let's hope for no uh, buffer here. We have to glyph. We are running a volcanic potion. Because we have the value trade actually. I just don't like intellect still. I think we go for glyph and see if we can get something faster. Well, we have a mana, so I will definitely pick one. Vapor is not good. Mm. Need a little more AoE there. Might be rough to get the time that I want. Is he playing with a swipe? Not playing with a swipe. Hmm. Nope. He plays double Hydra, the 5 mana 8 8. He's not playing with the, the crabs that much, he only runs one hungry crab. Of the wild, like it's better the barrier than the fape, right? Hey, this rope triggers me, man. It wasn't even close yet, rope. Maybe I still want to glyph. That's not a good hand. 
But what can I even get from Glyph that helps me here? There's not much that helps me. Maybe I just play Cabal Career. I don't see intellect helping you either. You you need these minions. What to do? Yeah, that's a cliff. I found it first. Yeah. Uh, so many tokens. We definitely go for glyphs now. I need to get the time. He's not really giving it. against you called consider glyph there I don't know it's a uh, super close call so aggressive was kaka face 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 huh Face, face, face. Yeah, I need like a frost bolt, man. No, that's an expensive one. There's nothing really like our intellect is not good, right? Let's say you rip the frostbolt. These other two suck. I can pick flame strike. I can pick barrier. Yeah, I'm not sure about this either, man. It, I play it so slow. I'm getting a little wrecked by Hydra here, but I play better around Roar. Everything besides Hydra, I'm all, I'm good against. That I'm not good against. Yeah, I have to try esporting him then. I cannot flame strike, I'm gonna lose. He can just even hero, in worst case, even hero powers me. I have to frost ball and get something from the glyph. And then flame strike next turn. Meteor is alright, maybe. Good placement though. Five, seven, nine, eleven. We are dead to roar already. Yeah, this game went super fast. But I had also super slow hands. Like, you see, this is why I mulligan away intellects every time. I even mulligan them away, but too slow. I need mana worm. Especially if you go first, you need the mana worm. Synergy. Yeah, we flame strike this. Flame strike thing, right? And then set up ice block. I 
I can set up ice block here, draw, but I want to deal with this part. It's only Roar that does it here for him. Second blue jail, 3 out of 20. It's an alright draw. Maybe I need to draw and play this. But I mean, if he frostbolts my face, or if he just hero powers my face, I keep the apprentice on the board. What to do? Time runs out on me. I think it's fine. I save my apprentice here. And then I can intellect again for two mana. He can attack with the minion and with the face, so if I frostbolt face guys, he attacks with the minion, the face. Oh it doesn't matter. It's uh, more about um, if I think I should give up my apprentice. That's the decision you make there. But this guy is a little annoying, um, the 3-3. Three, three. And I think I can still get some decent uh, value from him. I don't know what that card can be that you might not play. That can be helpful actually. Yeah, so it's just only blue jail, the only the second blue jail procs me now. It's the only charge he has. But if I if he doesn't have the second here, I just go fire lance into fireball, and I have pyro at ten. Seems we are having a comeback here. Looks like a comeback to me. Yeah, that's the only charge he's running. Hmm. I'll play titles, sure. Oh, catches, yeah, he, that's true, but he drew it. Hmm. Yeah, Alex will save me every time, but if we're not getting Alex, I have to play like this, I think. What card will you not play here, man? I don't even know what card it can be. So yeah, every time we do this in the face, and we pyro him next turn. It's pretty cl clear this turn for me.
This goes face, this goes face. I can see Almost lethal even guys. Almost lethal. Oh there summoned me. It didn't matter though. It didn't matter. We had lethal anyway and there was nothing he could get out of it. But yeah. For the funds. For the funds. Um so he bent paladin, huh? Two, 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 two. Uh, what do we do, guys? Let's druid it up. Uh, also, thanks uh, to the new subs uh, in the stream. Kaboom! Uh, subscribed. Happy to support the most positive one pack streamer in the world, Kepa. Keep doing your love. Thank you, Kaboom. Appreciate it. Welcome in the stream. Thank you so much. I uh, thank you so much and uh, Harvest Obod subscribing uh, first time. Thank you also, Harvest Obod for the sub. Much love uh, from me. Great to have you around. Thank you so much. Uh, Harrison sucks. The other three cards are all kind of all right. Definitely the Blossom is awesome. An active, more active wild growth. Maybe I you go really aggressive here. Depends on my next draw. I think every time I innovate Blossom, but I'm also thinking of Coin Idol. Like every time you innovate Blossom here. I'm now thinking how Coin Idol is. I don't like it too much. Maybe I will just Idol Hero Power. I don't like it. Definitely considerable. You don't want to fall behind too much. Stone. I think I might play this. It trades better then. You will always trade Fendral, I think, still. What to do? Behold the rage of the firelands. How do we trade this man? Went the one two beast or with the two two beast? Hmm, I, for no one. I think if you hear a powers, I'm alright. I think I should do it this way, but there are reasons to do it this way. I 
think I'm fine with the hero function. I also don't want him. I really badly want him to attack with the 8-8 eight in the 3-5. So I can swipe hero power it. I ne never... I don't know. I'm not... I don't mind if the druid pays 2 mana to hero power the aggro druid. But yeah, sometimes you give him a great curve, I guess. But otherwise I'm also scared. I was just scared that he with a little buff can trade my Vendral really well. And by trading the Vendral really well that he can go face with the 8-8. Yeah, it's definitely not looking great still though. And the innervate was really painful on the Hydra. Oh Ow! Be prepared for an out turn. Okay. See guys, more and more people coming up. More and more people coming up. I don't have, it's just this, 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 and uh, drawing the dragon next turn. Primal Drake incoming! Primal Drake incoming, guys! I call it! I call it! Sorry, Oskaka. Sorry, man. But here we go. Primordial Drake! <laughs> uh, even an elephant is alright now too. I wouldn't mind elephant either. But it has to be one of them, right? <laughs> yeah, that might be. It's definitely after Primal Drake the best draw, I think. I might even consider Hero Power here. He does this, this, hero power. Let's say he top decks Roar. Has two and trades that. I, I'm dead to top deck Roar. What are other plays he can do? Like there is nothing for a nine man I will play. It's just fitting when the curve better. When you walk better. through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark at the end of the storm. There's a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a lark walk on through. 
The wind walk on through the rain, though your dreams be tossed You're and dead blow. to blue jill too. But I think I do it. It might just matter, I guess. He's not he doesn't have too much life himself to even play with. I cannot really I didn't really have the feeling we play around much more, but Walk on, walk on with hope in your heart and you'll never walk alone, you'll never walk. You will never alone, walk, on. walk alone. Walk on with you hope in your heart and you'll never walk alone, you'll never walk alone. This text to speech girl really doesn't know the sound, obviously. You will never How are we not dead, man? So, Gadget Sand was the reason to keep the coin, obviously. But for that, we will now have maybe one li left less life. Hmm, what the hell is his hand? What is a what are cards you don't not playing now? Oh, right, he can have living mana, I guess. What are these cards, guys? Playing around top deck roar. Roar is 3 damage. Ah, oh, damn! Duh! Oh, you see, the one light might so matter, man. Duh. Uh 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 na 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 Ow Ow So we have to beat priest and paladin Priest, silence priest, right? So, what does a silence priest want in the openers? I'm not sure if I can keep Ignorious. I think I shall keep one. I think I need the elementals to finish the quest too. I will ask about that. If you keep... Oh. If you keep it against priest. This has to be a decent card. Ah! He can still dodge it with the silence though. I might need to use deckhand early. Guys. Moment of silence. He's playing Talon Priest too, yeah. Talon Priest too. I wonder if this is a good keep. I think I kind of need it because I also have to play a little my own playstyle.
Yeah, but so you see that the one life mattered, right? Our last game too, because otherwise he could have killed me already with the blue gel. Yeah, that was super close though. The, uh, if we do it there or not. But there were more plays, like... Could have gone J coin Jade Idol earlier. Yeah, we definitely can consider being active with deckhand too in this matchup to use it already next turn. I like this a lot. Because I freeze it again. And then I trade next turn a little into it. Can always try to rebounce the freeze too. I mean, we will finish the quest. Have to be careful, I'm not getting wrecked by that guy. I can do the quest at turn 6. Um, next turn I can also activate it, but maybe I, I have to freeze this guy again. So then I want to like trade something in, play an elemental, rebound the 2-1, freeze it again. And then, at, uh, and then I should still be able to finish it at turn 6. That will mean that I will spend 2 mana, 3 mana, then I'm on. No, I don't do the quest then. I'm 1 mana off then, finishing the quest. Um. Yeah, now I'm wondering myself how much respect I need to give it. I think I do it like this, but I'm not sure. I was thinking of giving this guy more respect. What do you think, guys? Do you think I should have like do something else than this? Because if I don't, if I bounce my uh, glacial f uh, shard. I pay in total 3 mana and I'm not able to play a quest I have to like spend 2 less like 2 would not have been played I have 1 mana not being used and for that I called uh, it, I would have played 2 less of these and then I had the ability of getting, getting this guy on the board with, an, um, with uh, this guy being frozen again Yeah, but Divine plus Inner Fire is still not lethal. Like, it needs additional, guys. It needs to be Power Shield. 
second or I mean second powerful shield in the Unsworth Empire. No! No! That's so bad! Otherwise I could just value trade it with all the five. No! <sighs> now I might still lose to Inner Vire, man. No! I think I do it like this. I just trade it a little here. He doesn't run AoE, I need to check that. Uh, I will check it before every match. He runs a Pyro. Still. I need to respect Inner Vi here, right? I think I just do it like this. I think it's totally fine. No, that pet just draw. This is why I hate the patches decks. He doesn't run Nova, guys. He doesn't run Nova. He runs a Pyro, what can be a little annoying on this board too. But I can always like play patches, bounce patches, play patches, bounce patches. You should have played patches instead of deckhand. No, why? Patches, the deckhand needs the activation of the dagger. The patches doesn't. You should. You play always uh, deckhand before patches. At least from my way of thinking, because deckhand requires weapon. If I need to use my weapon in any way, I still have patches. 15, 20, yeah, it's lethal. Da, 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 da. His paladin is aggro. It's really similar to the one I submitted. Really similar. He has all uh, Korean names. He made it. Uh, why are all his deck names in Korean? Or in Chinese or whatever. Um, yeah, full mulligan, right? There's nothing you keep. Ooh la la! Ooh la la! Coin Wild Grove into Blossom! Jade Root, boys! Oh, that was bad language, though. Oh, that was unfortunate. That was a little unfortunate. Uh, he has a pretty broke back start too, though. Holy moly, three one drops. <laughs> That's actually really painful.
No war leader, please. Uh, please, no war leader. Five doesn't do enough. I need to start with this. Uh, hope I just have to hope for not the uh, worst starts like Mega Source and so on. Just have to hope that he doesn't have the best ways of connecting. I mean, he had only two cards, and now has an uh, an taunt. Just possible that he has one big minion in the hand, and then we just hope he doesn't like. War leader and Mega Star are gonna be really bad, pa painful, especially War leader. I can't even see if the Mega Star misses or something, then it can be alright. Mm. <coughs> yeah, swipe might be important. It's pretty uh, bad play. So he's not having much to do here. Like every Murloc is already pretty nice for him. Like even on True Silver or Consecration you play here every time. Do you think I should swipe here or is it too early? Ref for one, swipe there, trade. Hmm. Can also Jade Spirit, ref to four two. Hmm, I actually don't know. I actually don't know, guys. Um, I think I want to get this card out of my hand because it's like a little... Uh, but I kind of like to have full control. Yeah. Not sure if this is correct over the Jade Spirit, though. I'm just too scared, even I know he didn't have anything, that he's gonna abuse it. Oh my god, what is this shitty hand? Feels shitty hand, man. What the hell? Six mana, he's gonna tear him uh, maybe. He cannot play the steed. If he does if his five is not good, his six is not gonna much much better. Uh, let's take it a little slow. I have to kill every minion, otherwise um, he's gonna connect steeds. What to do? How good is this card? Not so good anymore, right? Is it good against this paladin when they are having like if he connects now only late game maybe I should Drake here or otherwise this but maybe this
He played so many Murlocs already. I think I do it just to curve. I think it's the Drake. It's also so good in Curator. If he goes Curator here, I get more time. Nourish ping? No, I'm not gonna nourish here, guys. If you are on board against Peldin, everything becomes better. With these kind of plays, you're gonna lose to all to Steed. He has some way of clear. I think he was running one equality. Yeah, he's running one equality. It's a reasonable card to have in his hand at the moment, equality. Yeah, the Drake was really good actually, now I think about it more. It had to be Drake there. Where can I find your decklist? Uh, you can find my decklist on uh, my Twitter, guys. I don't really... I mean, Oskaka gave me his list and it will be re revealed soon, but... I guess he will also let it know. If he wants to share. I don't want to play Aya every time. Innervate Aya. Innervate Hero Power Skills. It's a little all in. It definitely is this. We definitely do this. Well, they have equality here. I've added, yeah, I think so. And I wanna be aggressive too. I like it. Because also the Aya is out of the range of this. So even if he has a quality cons, there is still the 6-6 six, six surviving. I don't think... He, I think he bought every time clear my board last turn with equality. Mm. But Tyrion was alright. Tyrion was definitely alright there. You also want to do it before they have equality uh, Drake. We know he has Drake, and if we give him equality Drake at turn uh, 10, it's also painful. That seems so unnecessary. Well, what, what do we want to do with our hand, guys? Swipe is a swipe lethal. Ah! 
Fire trade. We then break. I didn't break, right? Uh, maybe we go uh, Fendral, Swipe, Hero Power. like this. I really don't like this. Because of a quality drag maybe. But what could I do there? Not trade Aya away, but Aya's only in 3-3 man, it's not that pressuring. No, I wasn't default guys, wasn't default. Why trade Aya? Because I don't consider my board strong enough if I have a 3-1 and 3-3. That's all I have then. Then this one will die. I will just have a 3-1 and a 3-3. He just trades this guy <laughs> and I only have a 3-1 and a 3-3. If I start with hero power there, but then I don't have lethal anymore if it is redemption, guys. Otherwise, uh, uh, if I attack first, then re we have lethal into redemption, if I'm correct. Never play around cons. This plays quite good around cons. This played quite well around uh, the Drake that he has. Hero power. <sighs> what do we do? I don't think we play wild growth here. I think we want to hero power it, otherwise this one just dies. Shall have traded early with Aya. Yeah, well, I couldn't trade him earlier. I traded the turn right after I played Aya. Why no Mulch? Uh, mulch is not a card anymore in standard, my friend. If you can uh, put in a Mulch and play with it in Constructed, uh, you, are a, you are a wizard. We still have a lot of Jade cards though. Painful. Really painful. Doesn't do much right, Feral Rage.
What do you think? Please? I like fish. We will trade it anyway. We just need a good draw. I need Norris, right? Oh my god! How do I run so much out of cards? Man, if I had Harrison now. I'm running Harrison. We'll make this match shit. We'll just be GG. Or getting any other draw. I mean, I never played a card not for draw, right? I even played my ref for draw. I wonder. Every card I called draw with, I drew with. Let's keep up the good work. Thank you, Brad Kid. Happy you to have you here. Face was the only play there. Why? He double. F he value trades two minions directly back. Plus, there is like the risk of with I don't know the mega sword into poison stuff, and then your seven seven dies. Like there is so much punishment into it. Now, have wreck for example might heal himself. Yeah, see, as the Mega Sword. Cold have become really painful, guys. Probably Code or Redemption. gonna survive this one so serious but Pilden is definitely not the match of you also want with his uh, deck so silence freeze left oh that's also not a great match for your druid strong Pelin is definitely really strong I wonder if there was any more room to get that win in the last matchup oh man gonna be a painful game guys gonna be a painful game no innervate no wild growth no blossom is that good still I guess we play it You don't lose with Jader? Well, it's really easy to say, guys, because everybody's targeting something different. Against Misty Agut, it was maybe my best deck. Against some other decks, I'm incredibly happy having it. But yeah, Paladin is a rough matchup. But two games so close, guys. The Agro Druid, where we lost to that uh, Blue Jail Power of the Wild. Last game was definitely close, too. Gotta fit in auctioneer, man. I have a double auctioneer in this list. Uh, 
I have the box in here. I have a uh, Harrison too, you see. But you wasn't there last time. Forever. That's not too good, right? Because he... Hmm. So he wants to play Shambler. It only makes a sense for Shambler, right? Hmm. Swapping here is not so good, right? No, I like to make it a little weaker there with the 1-1. One -one. He wants to shimmer it. There's no way, reason why you will buff that one. Otherwise. Yeah, it's playing double shambler too. Like by that attack you kinda remove one here already. This card is not so scary anymore though, because he needs to still silence it first. I think we might go Baromot. We have swipe, innervate. Maybe swipe innervate fail rage to clear this. Value trade there a little. And then play beer mod on curve. It fits curve better. It's better to do it this way. Goes to six. And then we have the curve. But this matchup is a little scary when they are... Um, because uh, we cannot... Re we don't have hard removals. Curve-wise is the better play. Where are your cards? Yeah! <laughs> Hopefully we'll draw some. Low on cards again. Yeah, it's really an issue, huh? It's really an issue. What can I do about it? Really, like, there, you cannot add much draw to the deck. You can play Curator in the deck or something, I guess. Are your silences, bro? He's running purifies too, right? Yeah, double silence, double purify, yeah. double acolyte. One potion of madness. He's not running paints. Well, this kind of annoying deal maybe for him. Hmm. Yeah, I think it was too important to what I did last turn. Or 
cards again, always low on cards. Shambler. I just trade away, right? Three, five. Oh, it's kind of cost heavy. Leaving up with a three, two. I need to trade these three, but I don't like swipe. I need to swipe Ecolite. And then I attack, attack, hero power. I need to kill it, otherwise it's gonna become a gigantic problem. Arguable. But I think you you are going go, doing completely the opposite side by swiping an Ecolite there. You just have to respect the menu for sure. Oh, difficult. So you he's definitely looking for a silence. He's playing silence freeze without silence at the moment. Yeah, now we clear it, but we are not clearing his minions before he's silencing them. Like this Watcher needs to still get silenced and the buff is... It definitely helped his Shamblers, but it didn't get silenced itself. Tree tree into Acolyte. Well, the Shambler has taunt, my friend. I cannot tree tree the Acolyte, swipe the Shambler. You have to attack the minion with taunt first. So annoying these acolytes. So annoying. Tar Creeper is so bad in offensive way. Just start with inner fire over coin there. Is someone injured? Don't like it, inner fire. It cannot be right. Yeah, you have to trade there though. Sure. Oh, bro. Oh, come on. 
come on. Wahahaha. Jeez. That's cheating. That's definitely not cool. I know, man. Uh... Yeah, I cannot see the discards, right? So annoying. Jade Mildred, yeah. Jade Mildred. I um, do I'm ha am I happy by drawing them now? I don't want to draw jade idols now, right? I need to have reactive stuff. What? Even it's alright for cycling, but... Mm. Seems that we are gonna lose, guys. It's pro definitely having the combo. Yeah, I don't need to shuffle. We have enough value in the deck. I agree. I totally agree. Should I buff the auctioneer? Why? There's one more armor too. I don't think he will ever make a trip with a full 414. I'll leave for right. Well played. So yeah, Priest being a little... Priest definitely favored against... Um, Priest is definitely favored against the Druid. Paladin is definitely a little favored. The Druid is alright. Druid Mirror. But definitely this is... So you see everybody's targeting something different. Like Mr. Yagud was completely targeting my mage. It definitely, um, so everybody's kind of like targeting uh, something else. I really targeted the mage, but so maybe it's just that people I'm now practicing against are not running the mage, but it seems really less mage than there was before. Ah. <laughs> Hey, 
<laughs> you guys are so mad. I'm actually happy, guys, to have this in practice. I remember the last time when I went into the regionals and I practiced a lot on stream too. And I won a lot against Sho. And then at the regionals, well, Sho was doing uh, really good. Like, practice is practice. <laughs> 